Well, demand is growing, and the operators of one emergency shelter in Bemidji are looking for further assistance. Uh, Josh Peterson shows us how the wolf has successfully kept people out of the cold. Last winter, the wolf, an emergency shelter to help those who are in need for a warm place to stay for the night, helped 424 people who stayed at the shelter. Compared to the previous year, over 2,100 beds were filled last season, showing a growing need for the Bemidji community. It is a little concerning that given the fact that we've moved so many people over to Park Place, that we're seeing level and a, a small increase. So had Park Place not opened, we probably would have seen a, a, almost an unmanageable increase. The Wolf is a unique emergency shelter that operates during the cold winter months and runs solely on grants, donations, and support from local governments. If some of the support and donations doesn't start to pick up. Some of its guests next winter could come to the Wolf to find a locked door. During Monday's Bemidji City Council meeting, an update was given to the council, along with a plea for help in funding the service they are providing. Council members questioned the growing need. I'm wondering if we have become maybe a magnet for um, people needing these kind of services, therefore putting you know a little bit more of a burden on some of the social programs that we have here. With the opening of two shelters over the past couple of years, Bemidji has seen an increase in people who are using the facilities. But the question is, are these shelters drawing new people to the area? And our people that we serve, 95% of them are from the community. There is the odd person traveling through or that is new to town. With a great financial need, Olson requested $5,000 from the city council, which would match the original contribution made by the city three years ago. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The Wolf will be approaching the county government along with regional tribal governments and local businesses for funding. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.